Yo, 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 what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Prime. Back once again talking this boxing shit. And as always, be sure to check out my latest release. It's my turn, the Throne Ascension LP, the Deluxe Edition. It's literally everywhere music can be found. Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, you know what I mean? Everywhere, you know what I mean? Everywhere like broken glass, baby. Go ahead and check it out. Also, stay tuned because later on this year I'm gonna be releasing two separate new albums. The first of which is gonna be called The Bachelor Life, which is basically gonna be an ensemble of you know some really really great records for my niggas who playboys. It's that playboy music, you know what I mean? You know, and you the the you know you fucking two bitches at the same time type shit. You know what I mean? You got one joint over here, one joint over there, one joint over here, and they all in love with you type shit, and you ain't lying to nobody type shit, you know what I mean, that G shit all the way around, it's that shit, then you got the God album, which I'm gonna release after that, sh- shortly thereafter, I was gonna do it the same day, but I think I'm gonna stagger them, cause I got a lot of really good records that I don't want to get overlooked, and um, on the God album, you can expect that vintage Lamborghini Cream shit, you know what I mean, the raw lyricism, you know what I mean? The, the the G shit, the lessons, all that shit is going to be in there. You know what I mean? It's going to be encapsulated within that. And both of these projects are going to be currently the best work of my career. Just like every subsequent project thereafter will be the best work of my career as well. So that's how I'm feeling about the shit. You know what I mean? I'm really hype. I've been dropping nothing but classic songs. And I think y'all going to love this shit. But yeah, you know, with no further ado, let's move on to the prediction, you know what I mean? I just wanted to let y'all know what I was working on, because I've been gone for so long, you know. Excuse me for that. But, um, yeah, as far as this uh, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao fight, which I really do like for both fighters, I think it was a good move, and really the only move before they get to Errol Spence, in my opinion, you know what I mean? If this is Mortal Kombat, this is when they fighting uh, Goro. You know what I mean? And they, well, excuse me. Actually, what's crazy is it's harder to fight Goro. So going to see uh, Errol Spence is like fighting Goro. <laughs> fighting, Fanny, fighting Manny Pacquiao like fighting Shane Soon. You know what I mean? He ain't no easy win. You know what I mean? He definitely ain't no easy win. But he's still, you know, Manny Pacquiao at this point, he's 41 years old. He's uh, most likely got a few... Um, you know, nicks and bruises as far as injuries and shit behind the scenes that we don't necessarily know about, we not privy to, because we talking about a 41-year-old man going through training camp after training camp, and I heard that after the Broner fight, he had a, either a broken orbital or detached retina or some shit, something like that, a, a real serious eye injury right after that. So if he coming off that, man, I expect Pacquiao to, you know, He's gonna he's gonna be fighting cautious. He ain't gonna be going balls to the wall. Not in my opinion, but I also feel like Keith Thurman looked bad against the Riverside Rocky man. That man looked bad. That was a horrible fight. That to me, I'm not um. I don't want to say horrible fight as if it was bad to watch because it wasn't that, but it was um. It was it was kind of sad to watch. You know what I mean? It looked like Thurman had lost a step. To keep it a bean, you know what I mean? Because a guy like Riverside Rocky wouldn't have been able to hang with Thurman about two, three years ago before he fought Sean Porter but uh, and Danny Garcia, you know what I mean? I feel like that Danny Garcia fight really, really might have took a little bit out of um, Thurman, a little more out of Thurman than we know about because he took a long time off and he ain't looked right since. So I think it might be something to the shit Angel Garcia was saying a little earlier when he said that Thurman wasn't going to be the same after that fight. But even still, man, I give Thurman a good chance, and I think he's going to look good. Come here, Juju. Sit with Dad down. Come here. Big boy. Yeah, well, anyway, sorry about that dad moment. You know that dad life, it don't stop. But, uh, yeah. As far as um, Thurman looking good in his last fight, he looked terrible to me. And I don't know if he could shake that off. Now, I know that um, it ain't going to be no PED testing for this fight. <laughs> so maybe both guys are going to look spectacular. But even still, I still think that uh, Keith might have slipped a little bit too far. And being off that long, might have that might have worked against him. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's just really beneficial, especially in the sport Uh-oh. of boxing. Stay consistent, stay hot, you know what I mean? Stay stay moving. 
keep something going you know what i mean that's real real important so when you don't have that level of consistency and that's something manny pacquiao does have he might have to you know take a few rounds to adjust and fuck with manny pacquiao him being as good as he is that might get you stopped you know what i mean because it seemed like everybody pacquiao done got in the ring with and felt that power and respected it from even floyd mayweather so uh, keep fucking around and get stopped man he don't like it to the body and manny pacquiao do go to the body so we're gonna see how this shit goes it's gonna be an interesting fight personally I got Manny Pacquiao to win. I think he gonna win. Uh, not only I don't know if he gonna stretch Keith though. I don't know if he gonna stretch Keith, but I, I could see him hurting Keith, and then Keith getting on that bicycle and losing round after round. You know what I mean? Getting on that bicycle a little too early. You know, cause Keith do have a tendency to do that when he think feel like he got a round in the bank. And when you fighting a guy like Manny Pacquiao, you don't got no fucking rounds in the bank, no matter how good you did. Ask Marquez. That's word. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So. Keep going to do what he need to do. Do he got the ability to the um knock out Pacquiao? Of course. Will he knock out Pacquiao? No, I don't think so. I think Manny just too crafty, and I think he got a little bit too much left in the tank, man. I, I just I don't see pa I don't see Keith really being able to beat Pacquiao in this fight. So I'm taking Manny Pacquiao 12 round decision or a, a left hand hey, stoppage. Dang. All right, y'all. So One say bye, Junju. <laughs> he ain't fucking with y'all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, y'all. We out. 100.